Western Mass News 11 at 11. A historic ruling inside a Michigan courtroom earlier today. The mother of a school shooter found guilty in connection with her son's deadly attack. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Western Mass News 11 at 11. I'm Chris Pisano. Western Mass News reporter Maria Wilson live for us tonight in studio. Maria, what are local experts saying about today's verdict? Well, Chris, today's verdict is the first of its kind in the nation. Before today, a parent of a school shooter has never been found responsible for their child's crime, and now local experts are split on what this could mean in similar cases moving forward. An unprecedented ruling coming down from a Michigan courtroom. After 11 hours of deliberation, jurors finding Jennifer Crumbly guilty for counts of involuntary manslaughter. We find the defendant guilty. Tuesday's ruling marking the first time in U.S. history the parent of a school shooter was found guilty in connection with their child's crime. This does set the legal precedent that, you know, a, for a school shooter, a parent can be held liable for their child's actions, which yeah, which we haven't seen before. But criminal defense attorney Jared Olinoff isn't as certain that we could see a sweeping ripple effect from this case. I don't know if this if this established any kind of rule of law. OK, um, in, in Massachusetts, for example, um, it, it, we require more than just mere negligence um, to prove involuntary manslaughter. The conduct needs to be wanton or reckless. Jennifer Crumbly's son, Ethan, was 15 when he carried out one of the state's deadliest school shootings back in 2021, killing four classmates and injuring dozens of others. The evidence was that, um, you know, it wasn't just that she was a parent and her child did something unspeakable. Uh, it, it was more than that. Prosecutors argued Jennifer and her husband ignored signs of their son's deteriorating mental health and they could have done more to stop him. But her defense team says Crumbly wasn't solely to blame and pointed the finger at her husband for improper storage of a firearm. And with this case being the first of its kind, we brought our questions to local legal experts about what sets this trial apart. There were sort of were those plus factors around there. The, the mother was, um, I, I think, grossly inattentive to her son and her son's well-being. Um, and, um, and, and I said grossly inattentive towards um, the safeguarding this firearm. Usually it's just because it's not, there's not enough clear linkage that a court can make between the parent's actions and the child's actions. And I think in this case, there was that linkage. Crumbly faces up to 15 years in prison. She will be sentenced in the coming months. Her husband, James, is set to go on trial next month. He is facing the same charges as his wife. Reporting live in studio, Maria Wilson, Western Mass News.